Welcome to another edition of Camper Christina Cooks. Today I am making um, spaghetti. I've got uh, dehydrated spaghetti sauce. It's vodka sauce. Um, I have dehydrated tomatoes, mushrooms, and uh, peppers to put in the sauce. Here's the here's the sauce. Super light. And it's dehydrated. And I just brought some regular spaghetti. Just brought a little bit. Because I'm also going to make some garlic and cheese bannock to go with it. Now, I think that the spaghetti will probably take a bit longer. Um, so I'm going to make the bannock first. And then I'm going to make the spaghetti. And I am absolutely starving today. I had a really long day. Um, and uh, I'm really, really hungry, so uh, I'm going to make everything. Now, I think that this is actually too much bannock, but um, I'll just put it in my food bag and have it as a snack tomorrow or something, if it is. So, um, yeah. Um, so... Apparently you have to put in a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit, and then mix it in the bag, and it does work, is what I've been told. So someone else suggested that I mix it right in the pan, but um, I like to fry it in the oil, so I wasn't quite sure how that would work, and this just seemed like a better option, so I'm going to try this way. Okay, I'm tired of mixing this, so I'm just going to put it in however it is. <laughs> I'm terrible, I have no patience. I thought maybe I'll make a patty and then I'll just plop it in there. That's what I'm gonna try to do. There, there's some dry stuff at the bottom that's not merging and I'm okay with that. All right, I'm gonna, I thought this was like a nice level spot, but I guess it wasn't. This is not bad, there we go. Probably restart rehydrating this stuff. I, I put it right in the water, boiling water, with the, um, when the pasta is boiling, so it rehydrates then, anyways. But I guess there's no no problem with uh, getting a jump on it. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Um, I need some. I need a holder, pot holder. Yeah, it's not. It's level here, but it's not level here either. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know, do I have to like, where's my spatula? <laughs> if this works, I think it's gonna work, but the oil is getting really hot. Ta-da! Oh, it's gonna burn. Come on, let go. <laughs> I want it thin. I don't want a big fat. I want it nice and thin. That worked 
looked pretty good, hey? Way better than last time. My hands are not dirty at all. Okay, just let that cook. Awesome! I only have just this little bits in here. See? That's pretty good. I'm really happy with that. If I had another stove, I could make um, my spaghetti, but I don't. It's really starting to rehydrate over here, so that's cool. I'll put a little more water in here. to make it even flatter, but. Oh, I turned it down maybe too much. Getting there. I think that's starting to burn now, so I'm going to take it off. turned out maybe better, but this one was way, way cleaner. Um, I don't think I need this anymore. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna make the spaghetti and all this stuff in this little pot, and um, I don't know, I did the noodles in here last weekend. Last week, a couple weekends ago, I did the noodles in there and they worked, so hopefully it works. Um, Wow, that rehyd almost rehydrated already. I'm um, just going to put some water in a little bit. It smells really good. Try. It's really hot. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, wow. It tastes like, um... It tastes like the, um, the bread from Red Lobster. Awesome. Uh-oh. I turned it off by accident. Get that boiling. Okay. Um, so what I usually do is I make the spaghetti, I cook the spaghetti in the sauce with the rehydrating stuff. And I've done it before and it works really well. I'm surprised how well, this um, sauce is rehydrating. That way, you don't have any leftover, right? You don't you don't have water to drain or anything. Um, so I'm gonna try that again. See if it works this time. There's the sauce. So I believe it was a Classico. I think it's a Classico one. Vodka sauce, I think. It's really good, and I've had it before. I'm gonna put the veggies in. Let's see, because that's already about three quarters um, full of water. So, yellow peppers, green peppers, red. Uh, red, red tomatoes, <laughs> uh, yellow peppers, green peppers, tomatoes, and mushrooms are in here. Quite get them all out, but that's okay. Oh, 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna put the spaghetti right in. I'm not sure I need it all, because I have the bread. I don't wanna have too much. I hate it when I make too much food and then I have to eat it. Well, that's the worst. Um, I think I might snap it in half again. That'll make it easier to cook. So, there. And there. Now everything is in there together. And hopefully it will work the way I want it to. While I eat some more bread. Mm. That smells really good. So as you can see, the spaghetti has cooked. It's nice and soft. The sauce has um, reduced quite a bit. And all the peppers and tomatoes and mushrooms and everything are all nicely rehydrated. So it's ready to eat. It'll look good. Okay, well, that didn't take very long at all. Um, I don't know how long because my phone is recording the, the video, so. But as you can see, like I just showed you, the spaghetti is cooked and the sauce reduced nicely. And no, I don't have measurements. You just, I just kind of eyeball it. But it looks really good. I'm gonna give it a try. If I can, it's probably really, really, really hot. And it's in a metal cup. That's good. Well, I'm going to go eat. Thanks so much for watching another edition of Camper Christina Cooks. I hope it inspires you to cook something different or try something new in the backcountry. Or um, maybe I just made you hungry and you're going to go make some dinner in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, this is my view tonight while I'm eating dinner. Quite pretty. So what I do is I save some bannock for the end. So it's just a little bit of sauce in there. And then you can use the bannock to clean out the dish. Which is a great job. And it's delicious. Yum.